boarding time will be 2.10. We're departing at 2.40. None of these are our flights. So we just got seated. Um, we did a lot of seat switching. I get kind of air sick, so I have to kind of be next to the window, but um, nervous, excited. Here we go. I didn't want to make my usual travel montage video, so I thought about this. Why not share my tips for when you are in transit? Tip number one, learn some basic conversation or at least be fluent in what is universal, body language. It really helps to also know the greetings in the language of wherever you're going. This show's not that great either, but it's learning, you know? Okay, so we got the halal meal. Tip two, know your food options. A lot of airlines offer halal, Hindu, vegan, vegetarian, and seafood options. Take advantage of that. I'm starting to think we should have gotten seafood because on every airplane that offers halal food, we get curry. Tip number three, know what your airline provides, especially if you're riding economy. Look out for pillows, blankets, socks, slippers, eye masks, lotions, soaps, toothbrushes, and toothpaste. And do not be afraid to take the freebies with you. I definitely took the blanket. When there's an announcement about turbulence, stay calm, stay seated, put your belt on, and just relax. This is what I hate most about flights, waiting to get off. We just landed and our next flight board's in 20 minutes, so I'm kind of freaking out. Tip number five, don't rush, even if you're late. Staying calm and keeping a cool head will allow you to make the right decisions to get to where you need to be as quickly as possible. This doesn't know justice. Number six, turn off the heater and or fan overhead. The air can definitely dry out your skin. Dude, we aged like 10 years in the last 18 hours. <laughs> we finally made it to Saigon. Um, neither of us can. Tip number seven, keep hydrated. Using some sort of moisturizer on your skin and on your lips can definitely help keep you from drying out. Also, if your eyes feel tired or dry, ask for a sleeping mask and rest up. Do wash with our lips, yeah. I just woke up. Oh, this real quick. Did you just wake up too? Yeah, I just woke up. Right. We just woke up. Tip number eight. Always say thank you. A little show of gratitude and grace goes a long way and can definitely put a smile on the other person's face. Uh. Tip number nine. Do your research or ask before you film because there will be some airports that have rules that do not allow you to film. I found this out the hard way in Ho Chi Minh when somebody pushed my camera aside. Um, that being said, don't be afraid to whip out your camera when something important or interesting comes up. Okay. We made it to Vietnam! Woo Tip number 10. In certain parts of the world, bribery is still a thing. Consider it insurance. Uh, 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 uh,
I don't know. I don't know. This is taking forever. Okay, you guys, baggage claim in Vietnam is no joke. Um, my mom's missing her carry-on that she was asked to send because the cabin was really full and they sent it for free for her but they're saying that it's delayed now and then there was this guy who works for the airport who's standing nearby some like side pole with a flyer with my name on it and there was some sort of announcement he had to make but he was just kind of chilling like not actively looking for anybody whose name was on that paper um, we're trying to figure it all out but dude Bus. He has a whole road to himself. Finally made it to the bus. But there's Wi Fi. That means that the buses here are even better than the buses in Seattle. And it kind of looks like a party bus. You know. But we're comfy. There's AC and there's Wi Fi. I'm excited. And there's food. my camera but it's like 3 a.m. we're uh, at a pit stop and we're gonna use the bathrooms but they have all this stuff here here's the tip bathrooms bring your own toilet paper and um, don't sit on the toilet seat don't be afraid to squat be prepared to have to spray down your feet and have white shoes when you come out or hold it in the whole way the ferry to Jodok we already crossed um, earlier parts of the Mekong River. Also, I'm okay with that. I need to sleep. <laughs> what other ferry? It's really strange to see how much Saigon City changed versus how much the village hasn't. And my last tip keep an open mind. Try to savor your experiences and take in all of what you can make the most of it.